This guy was also very interested, like behind the corner, trying to understand something. I think he was asking something from me as well. And these people I encounter on a daily basis, and they like uh, have to live and teach these people that you know it's okay to be peaceful and stuff. You don't need to run and try to grab anything you have to grab just because you feel fear because that's where you used to function, you know. Just try to act normal and, uh, I don't know, just to try to grow and learn a bit instead of acting in your usual way. software people also are asking for something and you can see that like the man is uh, mimicking you with God language not sure what his intentions are but uh, I think he's up to something I'm not sure what his wife uh, is also acting weird so not quite unclear what these individuals are all about and what their intentions are. They just pretend stupid or something. I don't know. It's quite weird. But they're up to something and then they pretend that like nothing is happening. So I'm not sure what uh, they want from me. Because the guy came and started to point uh, his finger into me or something. So I didn't exactly understand what, what his intentions were and stuff. And now we're just acting weird. The woman went to the toilet and he came back. I think they're just trying to steal stuff, some, something from me or something. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Maybe everybody's just tired and uh, don't know how to act anymore. So it would be nice to have my own privacy and not to uh, be subject of someone else's unclear intentions and stuff, you know? Because I'm just sitting here minding my own business and then these kind of people come and like now I have to waste my time because something is unclear for them. So some primary example of stupid people in Spain, you know. They're everywhere. It's not many here. Like in my country, there are a lot of people like this, just stupid, and they look much worse. And these guys, they're like, you know, living in Spain and stuff. But the idea is the same, you know. So, quite stupid, and it's not actually funny. So these kind of Russian agents, they like, come in and... Uh, you know, just uh, show, show that you understand everything, try to make a mess and laugh it off about, you know, steal your stuff. And in the end, if you fall for that, they like, uh, you know, fuck up your documents and stuff and papers. And if you trust them, we just, you know, don't, uh, don't, make, don't make the paperwork and stuff. So it's not, uh, you can, we cannot uh, work with these people, unfortunately. Sometimes something is wrong with some people and they try to negatively influence you. That's uh, yeah, the main story for these kind of happenings, I guess. But most people, when I was in McDonald's, most people were like, really nice and cool. But mostly it's like younger people. But even some young people and uh, people with families are quite messed up or something, I don't know. But, 
they just can't, uh, you know, stay cool. So, in that case, you, you have to be very careful, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, let's just take the positive. Not the negative. Seems like he's is a, he's a Latina group where we just came and you know almost like attacked me or something. I know like we wanted something from me and started to I don't know just see anything we can see you know and stuff and that's quite crazy. These kind of people, but yeah, that's what it is. Not everyone's always nice, so we'll be fine. It's also like this uh, <coughs> crazy princess which tries to hunt me down or something, you know. It's like um, I already told her many times, you know, I've been alone and stuff, and she's still like. Uh, trying to get to me from time to time and, like alter my plans and stuff but uh, she was gone at that point during the trip and you know that's it so now she lost her phone so but she still like can influence sometimes like these young girls try to also walk my shoes or something and then you know like some other people came and you know, suddenly it's all this negative environment and stuff but yeah I'm also a bit tired I need to drink some water I feel better but it's good to understand what's happening and stuff and uh, yeah. but, uh, I don't know if it's virgin women so they still have their own ways of so, like in influencing you through other virgins who are maybe like 15 or 13 years old, you know, and maybe, maybe use the technology or something, but yeah, that's how much we can do as much as I let them or her to do it, so that's chasing it, you know, getting over it, so um, I think that's the weakness she tries to exploit from time to time but uh, yeah it's a good thing in, in if it is healthy it's like a very good thing but yeah some some guys are more aggressive than the others and they don't like these aggressive types anymore or maybe it was fun for a while but not anymore So we need to learn how to let them go and stuff. Because otherwise it's just obsessive, you know, and they just it, it just doesn't stop, you know. And it's all good, it's over, so I know why I still get this kind of vibes. Maybe she's just doing the service, but damn. Um, and so yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it works like this, but that's how it is. I guess it's from American sides as well, because we control all the systems and stuff. And yeah, one guy comes, and the next guy, guy picks up the old the guy previously programmed. And so, you know, it's not always good. So it's good when you people act as they should act and stuff, and not just you know try to you know get advantage and use it. That's when that's the bad when bad things are happening. So you have to be very careful with who you interact and how you interact. That's the main thing, I guess. So on that note, I think it's good now. <laughs>